Hello everyone, my name is Unus Pogacan, Product Manager for Viz Multiplay. Today I want to talk about some of the improvements that we have made in the latest versions of Viz Multiplay, Media Sequencer, and Viz Engine when it comes to the Super Channel workflow. For those of you who don't know, Super Channels are essentially placeholders with two subchannels that you can load various types of assets in them, images, clips, uh, graphics, or live inputs, and you can control the transition between them as well. So let's jump into multiplay. And as I said in the latest versions, when you go and configure a video wall, you'll notice that there's an additional option in here called ARM and Fire Workflow. So especially, uh, essentially what this one uh, will give you is better feedback and better loading mechanisms when it comes to loading those types of assets into the sub-channels of super channels. Once you have that enabled, let's try to queue up some graphics. And what you'll notice is that on the uh, upper left-hand corner, you'll getting, you're going to get this icon. And until the moment this asset is loaded into the sub-channel, it's going to be yellow and it's going to say armed, arming, sorry. And once it's ready, it's going to turn green and it's going to say arm successful. Now, what's going to happen is the moment that I'm going to do take all, all those assets that I prepared ahead of time and that are now armed, they're going to be taken on air uh, exactly at the same time. So let's switch to the output of uh, my multiplay engine. And I'm going to take all from multiplay. And notice how all the scenes are going to be taken together uh, correctly without having to wait for one of those scenes to be loaded into the Viz engine. Let's switch back to multiplay. Let's try to load some clips now. And the behavior is going to be exactly the same. So every time I'm loading a new asset in one of the uh, inactive sub-channels, the media sequencer will make sure that it's going to uh, prepare this content ahead of time. So now the moment that it's going to turn green and I press take all, I'm going to switch back to the output again. All my content is going to be there, ready to be taken on air. These are some of the improvements that we have made, and we're keen to show you more.